Yeah, hi guys and welcome to another edition of RD Handouts uh, unboxing for PS5000. Uh, this is another um, one of them handhelds out of China recently. Uh, it's a pretty cool device uh, to be honest. Um, I wasn't expecting much of it when I got it. That's why I didn't really bother doing the unboxing but I think it deserves um, an unboxing and I'll show you why. So let's get on with it. Just a quick down for the specs. Um, so the device is a PS5000. Uh, Screen is uh, 5.1. Uh, IPS OLED is actually an, a confirmed an OLED screen, which is quite amazing for uh, a handheld of such cheap uh, price, um, which might just shake up the uh, retro gaming market. I uh, hope uh, more devices will follow. Um, SOC is the um, GB2, which is a RK3128 clone. Uh, it's got a Cortex-A7 32-bit uh, processor, which is a A7 again. Um, RAM, I think uh, someone was saying it had 256 RAM, but I think we confirmed it. It actually has 512. Uh, we can check the box what it says. Let's just have a quick look if it notes that Yeah, you see it says 256. They actually got that wrong um, You'll find it's 512 so Let's uh, carry on with the specs. So storage is a micro SD card. This particular one um, came with a 32 32 gig um, and the battery is around about 3000 milliamps uh, to power the device. So that's enough for the specs guys. Let's take a quick look around the box. Nothing too spectacular. It's got the device on there. You actually get controls, controllers in the box. Um, and you got a few stuff in Spanish here. Again, specs straightforward. Just tells you what emulators, uh, the actual SOC ch chip, uh, how much RAM, which is wrong. Flash is your flash memory, where you actually flash the firmware onto. Uh, and your resolution there, guys, um, which is correct. I can. These are all the colors it comes in. So you got your yellow, you got your black, which is the one we're unboxing. And this switch type color just here. Um, Let's have a look what's under here. Uh, that's the same stuff again. Nothing else really. Uh, it does connect to the TV. Um, not tried it myself, but I've heard it actually works, so which is very interesting. I just think it's um, a, a really neat, neat device. Uh, I've had some hands on time with it. Um, I've got rid of the stock OS, so what I am showing you here is the new custom firmware. Uh, made by the Rooker team um, Which I have already installed because uh, the stock OS I didn't like at all So here we go guys, uh, let's get this open Say the box is nothing too special. Let's put that away You got the device here Let's just see what you get in the box guys just so you know so you're getting this uh, HDMI cable, uh, USB to a micro, I think that's a normal HDMI micro cable. Uh, you're getting these controllers in the box. Uh, I think they're actually pretty cool and they feel decent, nothing to write home about. D-pad feels okay. Uh, you got an analog stick there start and select buttons and then your six buttons and that is a um, micro USB again to connect into the device uh, you get two of them which I think uh, is, is pretty cool uh, your standard micro USB cable nothing too special there the USB and you get a manual in the box as usual uh, if you can read Chinese and you have simplified English 
on the other side. So that's the contents of the box. Let's get that out of the way and have a look at the device. Just a quick look around the device, guys. So you can see here you got two analog sticks uh, and I have to admit these feel really good even while you're playing, um, which I was pretty impressed with. Uh, the D-pad, I can't say much for that because uh, I find it sometimes, I actually use the analog stick more, but the D-pad is quite big as you can see. Uh, but I suppose those people with bigger hands, it, it might actually be good. You got your start select buttons here, and these are actually your volume buttons just here. Um, bottom of the device, you don't have anything. Again, with a side. Uh, so your shoulder buttons, guys, R1, R2, R1, L2. Uh, let's just have a look here and go through what's here. So you got micro USB port on this side and one on this side. Controllers can go in there and you actually power the device on there. This one is used for flashing, this one on the left hand side. So use that for flashing when you're flashing a firmware. Uh, you got a headphone port here. You got a micro SD card slot. That's your power slot to switch it on and off. And there's your HDMI cable. So nothing too special guys. Uh, you got the back, some venting here. Venting, I think the actual speakers are behind there as well. Um, and it, these are your screw holes just here where you can open the device. Uh, I have seen someone that has opened the device and you'll be glad to know you can actually fit a bigger battery in there. I think the battery only comes to about here. So I mean guys, just look at all that space you got and it's actually clear. So I'll be looking out for a battery soon for sure. Um, so let's go ahead and power on. Uh, please note guys that I have actually replaced the stock OS uh, with this new Rooker team. Uh, this was a early beta version. So I'm just uh, demoing the yearly beta. Um, it's officially been launched now. Um, as you can see guys, uh, if, if you're into retro gaming, you know what this is. It's RetroArch, uh, and you guys just know how to use it, I presume. If not, I would research about it. Uh, and basically, I've loaded all my systems into the uh, console, you can see here. So, starting from here, Amstrad CPC, you got some uh, Capcom, you got Cave, you got... Commodore 64, you got some Amiga 500, you got some uh, CPS again, uh, Dauphin, it's come up twice, I'm not sure why, uh, you got some MAME, some arcade classics there, you got uh, some MSX guys, uh, any CPC engine tur turbo graphics, and some PC Engine Super Graphics. Uh, you have Neo Geo. Neo Geo again. I think this is a different pack. Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color. Game Boy. Super Nintendo. Uh, you have some Open Ball games here. 32X. Sega Game Gear, Sega Master System, Sega Mega Drive, Sega CD, some games there, uh, some ZX Sinclair Spectrum, uh, Neo Geo CD, uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Neo Geo Pocket, and some PlayStation stuff. And we've got some cool Tick 80 in there as so. well. So I've actually tested these games and they, they do actually work. But guys, just look at that. Uh, what more would you want from a device? Uh, 
the UI actually runs incredibly smooth, you can see. Um, I tried this on the PSP Vita. Uh, I, I didn't really like it. It was a bit on the slow side. Not sure if I had the latest re RetroArch installed, but this is just but a smooth and for a price point of a device that is so cheap. And look at that screen, guys. Um, it's confirmed an OLED screen. So what you're getting for your money is uh, quite incredible. I look at the colors. I've still got the uh, official factory screen sticker on there. You can see it. maybe I should take it off at some point um, to show the real uh, quality of the screen, guys. But you got your buttons here, A, B, X, Y. You got LED light there. I will uh, link to the uh, custom firmware by the Roku team. They've actually officially launched it. Uh, guys, I think this one's um, an instant buy, but that's entirely up to you. Just purely for what you're getting for the, your money, uh, the controllers, OLED screen, got 512 meg of uh, internal RAM, not 256 as it states. Huge support. Uh, I highly recommend going to our Discord channel uh, uh, for support. We have the Roku team uh, officially on our Discord channel um, where they have released the custom firmware. I will link to the Discord in my video as well. But there you have it, guys. That was just a, a, a quick look. I mean, we can just fire up a game, I suppose, uh, just to show you. Let's try a... PlayStation game just before we go and you guys can see how it runs I actually say again I use the analog sticks which I find a lot better Bloody but the D-pad is okay Oh, I'm gonna be your recall. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually overclock the CPU on this. I presume you can at somehow uh, just to get that little bit better performance out, out of the device. But you can see it's running decent enough. I've not really set any settings uh, to try and get any more performance out of the device. This is just straight out the box with the custom firmware. There you go guys, uh, so to exit out of this is start and select together which brings you back to the uh, um, main menu and then just go to close content, pretty simple. And you're back into the main menu again. Uh, where are we? That's two out and there you go. So that's it guys, I'm going to leave it there uh, and let you decide what to think on this device uh, I think it's an amazing device for the price uh, what you're getting for your money um, so there you have it guys if you enjoy the video hit that like button hit that subscribe button as usual uh, and I'll have more for you soon guys bye